Bangladesh is a land of rivers. Over 300 rivers form a vast delta plain at the confluence of the Bay of Bengal. Sadly, one third of these rivers have disappeared, affecting the lifestyle of the population who live around them. The rest of the rivers are on the verge of extinction, largely due to unilateral withdrawal of water from the transboundary rivers and the construction of numerous inland barrages. Such causes have resulted in devastating consequences. Over the last 50 decades, some of the mighty rivers like the Padda, the Meghna and the Jamuna have lost width and depth, mostly due to a gradual loss of strong currents they once had. The landless inhabitants living along these river systems now often struggle to eke out a living in the arid conditions. They find themselves isolated from the major public services like healthcare, education, transport and electricity. Even worse, in many places there is no access to safe drinking water. Like water, food is also very scarce as the nearest market to buy food is sometimes located far away. These journeys all too often involve strenuous rides in horse-drawn carts or even on slower transport on country boats. On a recent trip to the area, I spoke to the inhabitants of Chor Nongolia in the northern part of the Bay of Bengal and Gongachora in the northwest region. They told me how the once mighty rivers, Tista and Meghna, have lost their flow, choked by vast stretches of sandy land. Sufia Begum and Reshma Akhtar, both in their mid-50s, explained their hardships. Local inhabitants who now live on dry riverbeds or chores showed me how they have adapted to the changes and continue to make living in the area. For some, the dead rivers are a blessings, like the farmers here in Kurigram, who make good use of the highly fertile newly emerged riverbeds, while for the others the conditions have turned out to be catastrophic, like the fishermen sitting idle here in Noakhali. Amid the hardships, government and non-government efforts are underway to rehabilitate the people who once depended on these rivers for their living. Many settlers have been issued with documents giving them legal rights to the newly emerging land. There are programs being implemented to tap economic opportunities like establishing markets and improving transportation to prevent migration of people from the area in the hope of preventing them from becoming refugees elsewhere in the countries. Thank you.